Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Please hit that thumbs up, like button, you know, it helps the channel. It does not cost you anything, but it helps the channel grow. You know, let's let's help my channel grow and move to the next level. So, in this video, I'm going to show you guys lab results for two products that you see on the screen. One is full synthetic, one is conventional 5W20 Castrol, same brand, two different products. And we're going to see and compare how much of a difference is there. Is the price difference about eight nine dollars difference between five five quart uh, or five or a jug jug uh, justifies full synthetic? Is it really better? Is it really better two times three times than conventional? Can it last two three times longer than conventional? You know, uh, conventional used to be recommended running three months three k miles max, then they jump to five k and uh and six months then some car manufacturers jumped into the using conventional oil one year ten thousand miles you know when they jumped from three to five from five to ten five between five and ten thousand miles that's when the car started having a lot of issues a lot of brands uh have developed bad reputation because they jumped you know what i mean has because it created issues when people were using uh, conventional oil 3k miles three months they pretty much never had there were there were instances that people had issues but was not related to the oil i even myself you know what i mean i ran cars i had cars i drove close to 200,000 with no issues you know the engine ran flawlessly so let's compare let's look at the tbn numbers first between conventional regular oil and full synthetic or for cash you see the numbers 11.4 for full synthetic 8.6 how much is it tbn better it's not double it's definitely better there is no doubt it's better numbers what about viscosity look at the viscosity full synthetic is definitely uh has uh flows easily when it's hot it does not, does not become restrictive it does not start the engine like conventional oil this is the reason why many car manufacturers went away one of the reasons because when it gets hot it's still thick Especially with age, when you have miles, and does not provide proper lubrication when thick. You know, your oil needs to be uh, flowing freely and providing lubrication so you have less metal against metal. Viscosity at 40 degrees. Look at it. Full synthetic, still better. Viscosity index, still better than conventional oil. Look at the viscosity. Uh, they're using the different numbers here uh, at minus 20. It flows better. You see, even even full synthetic is still better than conventional. But is it better two times or three times? We're going to look into this after we go through the numbers. Look at the numbers for volatility. Volatility is uh, evaporation rate, how fast oil evaporates. When people complain about oil consumption is because there's two things, two factors. Oil evaporation and oil being injected into combustion chamber through the rings or through the valve seals. Usually it's through the rings, most of the time. So, look at the numbers. Look at the conventional and uh, full synthetic. Why is it pretty much very little difference? Only 0.4% difference? So how is the full synthetic better in terms of uh, oil consumption, evaporation rate? Well, when you look at that, yes. Full synthetics is not much of a difference than conventional oil when it comes to evaporation rate. But, however, let's look at additives. Look at the for calcium magnesium for full synthetic versus conventional. Different numbers for different products. For calcium, conventional has more. But for magnesium, conventional has less. Which one is better? It depends who you ask. It depends where you look. Some say... It's better to have more magnesium, others say more calcium. So depending on the company, how it's formulated, there is no wrong or right, you know what I mean, or, or only one way. You can mix and match and there is so much you can do. And that's why you got to look at performance, see how well it works for that particular case. Look at the data, look at the lab results 
and look at your engine, you know what I mean, how well the oil is doing its job. So depending on a vehicle too, you know, there is a diesel gas engines, uh, some companies use different additives as detergents for different, uh, different variations to come up with a good results. Then if you look at the other additives like phosphor, very close now, 732, 785, you know what I mean, 809, 817, 82, 86. Uh, so you can read it on the screen, you know, I'm not going to go through everything, but in some cases, full synthetic has advantage. Look at the titanium. It has 11 parts per million, which is conventional, doesn't even have it. Well, that's why you need those additives. It helps with uh, engine wear, so you have less. Sodium is another detergent that they add, and it's about the same for both. Then if you look at um, contaminants, they're different. Conventional oil definitely has more contaminants. So how much is full synthetic better than conventional oil? Well, look at the numbers, overall numbers. If you look at overall numbers, full synthetic is only about 15 to 20% better than conventional oil. Cost-wise, it costs more than 15 to 20% better. Is it worth using it? It is worth using it. But since full synthetic oil is not two or three times better than conventional oil, it has limitations. Let me show you something. There used to be a chart that Mobile One had it. And that chart had this, this type of uh, representation. Conventional oil, full synthetic oil, and synthetic oil for how long the oil would last. Just like that. There was no mileage. Uh, maybe there was, I don't recall. I don't think there was a mileage. But it showed how much it's better each conventional oil, how much full synthetic oil is better, and how much full synthetic 15k miles oil is better that they had. Now they have, it's, they changed the name for it. As you can see, and they removed this information. They removed so much information. They even had... On their website, where they ran a test using their 15K oil in the engine, and engine failed. They had the details, pictures, everything. They removed all the information, including this chart that was on, on Google, actually, my mobile. Uh, after I made the video where I exposed the facts about, not really exposed, where I explained to people why full synthetics oil are different than 100% synthetic oils. They're, they're not the same thing. 100% and full synthetic is two different things. And those people who know the Fiasco, Mobile One, and Cash to Help, they know why full synthetic oil are not synthetics at all. They should be labeled as just a synthetic blends. So I'm not going to go more into that detail. I have videos on that subject. If you want, there will be a link at the end of this video. You can watch it. Or, you know, I'm sure there's someone that knows it will come in the comment section. So this was the case. So full synthetic, if we look at this on the screen, it's about 15-20% better than conventional. And then their uh, full synthetic advance, or whatever they called it at that time, was about 20 to 25% better than maybe 20% than their regular full synthetic. How much was it better than conventional? About 50%. About 40 to 50% better. So not two times to three times as the company advertised you can run it, you know what I mean? That you can use in 15, 20,000 miles uh, oil change intervals. Well, you can. You, you can use it, but the thing is, how much wear you're going to have and will your engine last past 100,000? That's the question you want to ask yourself. So, going back to this, so is full synthetic better? Definitely better. Overall, it's better, but 15-20%. And because 15-20%, it has limitations. That's why my recommendation, based on these numbers, based on the other lab results from the cars that I had, if you run full synthetic, any brand full synthetic, 3,000 miles max, 6 months, you'll be surprised how clean your engine is going to be on the inside, how your oil consumption is going to be either zero or very minimum. And your engine, I would not be surprised if it lasts half a million with no problems, mechanical. I cannot say for the water pump or 
timing belt, if your car has a timing belt, that it still needs to be replaced. Yeah, you know what I mean? But what does the company's uh, uh, Aramoru company say? Oh, full synthetic is good for 10,000 miles. What is the proof that it's good for 10,000 miles? I get so many comments, people go and follow the factory commander intervals, and they have major engine problems, oil consumption, and so on. Why? Well, because full synthetic, like I said, it's only 15-20% better. Well, 15-20% better, here is the other thing I want to talk about in this video. Engines today run two times harder, produce two, three times more horsepower than in the 90s. The full synthetic oil became two, three times better than conventional oil. No, it will never become better. If it will, it will be so expensive that only a few people will willing to spend money on it. But because it's only 15, 20% better, companies push to it's good for 10,000. There is no way it's good for 10,000. You'll be surprised. If you do all analysis on 10,000 oil full synthetic, you will never use it. Even at 5,000 miles, you'll be surprised how much wear it has. Majority of people say, there is no way. I'm keeping my car for a long time. I would not use past. So my recommendation, if you're using full synthetic, 3,000 miles, 6 months, max. What about if you tow or haul? Cut it down. Oil is cheap. If changing that frequently is not an option for you, there are other options. You can do long, uh, extended, what's the word I'm looking for? Extended uh, drain intervals. Long drain intervals. But you got to use the products that are designed for the long drain intervals. You're not going to find that in full synthetics. Some full synthetics, yes, but not all of them. So, thank you for watching. Drop me a comment what you have, what oil you use. How often you change? What's your oil consumption? So I'm going to repeat. What oil you use? I would like to hear from you guys. How often you change? Uh, how does your engine on the inside looks when you remove the oil cap? Is it coffee stained or it's clean like brand new engine? And the mileage. I would appreciate greatly. Thank you so much. Don't forget to share this video with others. Subscribe to my channel if you have not. And... Uh, don't forget, give me thumbs up because it helps the channel create stuff like that, videos like that. And one more thing I want to mention before I let you guys go. This video was made thanks to those people who support me on Buy Me A Coffee. You heard it right, yes. Thanks to those people who support me on Buy Me A Coffee. There is a link. If you want to support my channel, click on the link. You can donate as much as you want or as little as you want. There is an options. It all goes... To it doesn't go to my uh, pocket or wallet. It goes towards channel. Because my goal is to grow my channel and provide a contact education information.